Just after two months of the BBC News in Pigeon being launched to report and cover stories from Africa, it has received a positive response. So the BBC, where they England recognize, say, Pigeon self, supposed to be important, supposed to be Liga Franca. In English, na na cut and there, we cut them from up, we nail them from down. Pigeon English is mainly spoken in West Africa and is now estimated to be used by 75 million people in Nigeria and widely spoken in Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Equatorial Guinea. In 2011 UK Census report, African living in the UK make up 1.7% of the UK population and their common language is the Pigeon English. However, there is no data that shows how many people speak that language in the UK alone. So I went to South London, which has a huge population of African community, to find out what they think of the BBC News in Pigeon. This Pigeon English is very interesting for me. Okay. Trust me, if you go do more of it like this, I go like um, news about politics. Of course, for, for within the United Nigerians. So we could not play with them. So it's very vital. Immediate alacrity. Put this pause there, sharp, sharp. I beg. Uh -huh. I like to say, make I see what did they do for Africa, what did they do for Nigeria, what did they do up to, and what we not they see for years, so they see them for TV. Sorry, we're concerned Africa now, because if na pigeon you, they blow you, supposed to do something, we're concerned Africa. Even if we both they blow pigeon itself, the story if we concern them, as if they blow, not be the one when they blow. The language still has no standard rules for spelling, grammar, or an official dictionary. We have pigeon English for England. <laughs> now, wow. Is it time for Pigeon English to be taught across West Africa? I think it's time that we took ownership of our languages rather than waiting for somebody else to say, oh yes, it's official, no it's not. It's like uh, people feel lazy to put some, some things in sentences to come out with that, so they choose to go quick with that language, so I won't call it a language. African share butter, one, one point. Although there are some mixed feelings about pidgin English being taught in schools, most Africans in the UK also want to be given the same platform for local stories to be covered in pidgin English.